Yeah, man. We we find ways that we can we can do it, even within you know the, the community like this. Like, there's no right or wrong place to to talk about stuff. Mm -hmm. But Should while we're here, let us let us close out our stream with one last match. Smash. Like I said, we got Nidus returning, and Zero Lightning's bringing us Pac-Man, uh, rather infamous character in the current Wi-Fi environment. Let's put on a good show for the final match of the stream. Knight is still rocking with the yellow Ridley as well, too. <laughs> it seems like we're only getting yellow fiends here, too. We saw Nidus going against a Pikachu earlier, and we got our yellow pizza man here in Pac-Man. And, of course, returning to Town and City for Game 1, usually not an often picked Game 1 stage, but seeing a lot of it today, and with good reason, both of these characters, with no shortage of controlling large amounts of space quickly, mm -hmm. but I feel like, like less needs to be said about Pac-Man's kit. Like, Trapmaster extraordinaire, Pac-Man is able to control space without committing too hard, whereas Ridley, all the chips are down for every move you make. It's interesting too because we did see like more of a, a rushdown matchup last time we saw uh, Nidus and like the Pikachu where the, the ledge pressure was very apparent, was very in your face. But you're getting a lot of pressure from different angles and from very safe areas playing against uh, playing as Pac-Man. So a little bit of a diff different order here. On top of that, Ridley Shield does not bring a lot to uh, protecting Ridley, as it were, from all of the different ways that Pac-Man could be bringing uh, pressure. So I am curious to see how Ninus goes through with this matchup. While still being able to live a build confirm, okay. Oh yeah, that that's a rock and a hard place right there, honestly. Like escaping ledge pressure from Pac-Man is no easy feat for any normal character within the cast, but when you take into consideration a big body, like you really have your work cut out for you. I'm trying to get a back air stage back there too, not gonna find it. To come in. The up trying to break through something, but looks like the the Hydrant being disjointed able to break through that without putting Pac Man in any sort of danger. Ooh, trying to hunt there too. That was interesting because the Hydrant was on that platform, so it didn't really allow uh, Lightning to come back to it. Also, notice that Nidus is trying to scout out an ass here with these up smashes. I'm hoping it doesn't give away too much of his game plan, but hey, Fireballs to the dash attack does confirm to iron things out before too much damage is built up from Zeal Lightning. Right. That get up attack was interesting too, because you saw the water coming, and definitely there's gonna be a follow up um, from lightning with the water pushing towards uh, the grounded Ridley. So the get up attack was really, really smart. Key right through. I, the no mix up mix up. Whenever there's a key and a hydrant on the same playing field, you know what's gonna happen. It's just two very dangerous things are coming out. You you just need to know when. Yeah. I love that. I love that narrow. Was that an up smash? I might have seen almost. Oh no, that was like a short hop up there. Yeah. Definitely like to maybe see some of like the when we do get like a, a nair hitting cleanly for Nidus, I'd like to maybe see some sort of follow-up going away. Oh, the this guy play Pac-Man! That was such a smart angle. Come on. Oh, not catching it with the same roll read this time. Yeah. It's different when you have the uh the melon going out there too, because it's it's super lingering, so you can kind of telegraph where it might be coming to, so smart. And Ridley's ledge hang being able to just kind of avoid that entirely. I love the Hydra play. The Hydra interactions from, from Nidus are sick. Yeah, this is... This guy's done his homework. He's fought Pac-Man at least once or twice before to understand these angles. Which, I feel like there is no other character in the cast like Pac-Man when it comes to, like, really enforcing with a player that you need to understand the matchup to some degree. Like, there's so many little things involved in fighting Pac-Man that you could turn around on him. You just need to be aware. Yes. Caught there with the board, so high enough for sense will send you off anywhere. Z drop, yeah, looking for the neutral get up there too. I like the Ooh. option too. That's the setup that took the stock the last time, so jumping out of that situation is really, really smart. All right, it looks like Zero Nightwing's going to need some more tricks if he's going to try to take away this match. And hey, there you go. We're going off stage? No, we're just going over. Yeah, the ledge trap situation we saw a little bit early in the first, very, very first set we uh, commentated today. Uh, Nidus was very proficient in trying to snap to ledge with the up B to find a, a further follow up, maybe like a ledge trump. Not going to work out here, though. 
really liking these low recoveries to the stage from Nidus, but I feel like Zero Lightning could be taking advantage of them. Or, and yo, he went for the stinger. It would have been a hell of a way to end out the game one, but uh, just not Ooh, enough. I'll be in actually getting stuffed out by the Hydra. Super, super smart. A high angle. Yeah, that'll, that'll do you. Oh, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna find the punish there, too. I think maybe forward smash. I don't know if it would maybe take me too long. Up smash, not gonna find its mark, though. <laughs> the heavy shield. Oh, Great patience from Nidus. That was sick. That was very, very good, too. Especially from how much pressure the entire game was being put on. Like, this long strings. Like, you're at the ledge with your invincibility, and I'm they're just being set up with, like, a hydrant and a tur and a, like, some sort of fruit being thrown. So, being able to stay patient, stay cool in the pocket like that, very, very good. I mean, he waited for the roll, too, because he knew that the roll was what he was going to be able to punish the best. If he rolled inwards, he was just going to catch an air. If he rolled outwards, the side B grabbed him just fine. And it really seems like we're waiting to use that that move, the uh, the side B from really to take stocks, because in the very first set, I keep re referencing that, because that's the, uh, the other time we've seen uh, Nidus. But uh, not using it for damage, not using it for stage control, specifically for kills, and even mix-ups on, like, to catch you maybe sleeping on your mash a little bit. Let's see if we get a stage. I feel like the stage worked out fine for Zeo Lightning, but it was played so expertly from Nidus, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised to see if we end up going something different. I'm always a fan of Pac-Man going to uh, to Final Destination. I feel like that's the that's the nightmare mode for that matchup, but I don't know. Nidus is really comfortable with his ledge play. Like he has a very good understanding that his character can get bullied really easily, but that patience is staying as gold as that Ridley. Yep. <laughs> We got Nidus back in the lobby. Still waiting for Lightning to pick the potential counter pick. Ready? We're back in here, same characters, same costumes. Looks like we got a stage change though. Hmm. Thinking, I'm thinking bigger here. Yeah. Three, yeah, I'm okay. I don't feel it. One, even, so even what? taking more. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, there's there's a lot of ways that Pac-Man can control this stage. Yeah. Like, his traps have a lot of multi-layering to them, and more of the bonus fruit are going to find utility. But all of these platforms can get sharked so effectively by Ridley, I feel like it's going to force Zero Lightning to play very mobile. So this is going to be a very differently paced game, I feel. Right. Like, when I was first considering stages, I was thinking more horizontal range, but Pac-Man can cover the vertical like nobody else. Cherry in hand here. Ooh, that looks weird. It does. It does. <laughs> Catching the jump there too, that near perfectly spaced as well. Not going for anything sort of cheeky off of the ledge. That forward air actually gonna hit a very, very backwards hitbox up. It's still gonna work out. Yeah, that move is kind of nice. Yeah. People, you know, everyone loves to talk about the the zoning applications of Pac-Man's kit. No one likes to focus on the fact that this character can brawl like the best of them. Yeah, character's got me in boxing. Looking for a roll there too. You saw the back air coming out at the uh, the middle part, or like the uh, the left right, or the <laughs> at the rightmost side of that left platform. I think they're coming down, covering a really good angle. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure what hitbox interacted over there, but nonetheless, keeping Zeo Lightning safer just a bit longer. As these percentages begin to crawl up, it's it's more and more becoming a game for uh, for Nidus. Great jump catch there too, because you see you have the melon sitting there, so you really don't have to uh, try to call it anything else because you're getting pressed from the beginning of the uh, the horizontal, so you have to jump in to get out of the situation. By the way, that trap with the um, the trampoline at ledge and the upthrown melon, devilish, <laughs> De devilish trap, because it's catching any option that you throw out. The fact that Nidus knew to just wait there shows that he's proficient in this rather For obscure matchup. No mash out either. Going to take the kill. Second time from across the stage. This is nice.
Oh, not enough yet. Okay. Nair threw that forward air on shield. Gonna fall through the fastball. Nair is smart. Yeah, Zero Lightning in general looking like he has a better idea of how to use his tools with the uh, the battlefield layout. With a very good catch of the down smash there. This is looking like a very good stage pick for him. Jumping out of situation entirely that doesn't want to get any sort of smash tech set up going in that corner too. Trying to go for a ledge jump, but Pac-Man can hesitate with the best of them. Immediately buffering the ledge option there too is the roll. Ooh, getting caught, getting caught. Oh, that Nair was dirty. Not done yet though. Side B gonna, yeah, alright, Side B's gonna get it. Still, that was a lot of damage off of one ledge interaction. Yeah, it was. It was very, very well placed. You're wild well. for it. You're wild for that. It's crazy because the spacing's really weird because if he's far, like, the timing is different depending on how far away you are, duh. But just the recognition of being able to notice my uppy's gonna end right here and you're going to be able to put the hydrant there and still land on it. It's very smart. And that Fortner eating through Bell as well! Trying to get an up tilt juggle going on here. Not going to find it. Up smash out of parry. All right. Very smart. Give me Let's two of them. Around. Give me two of them. You know, I was going to say, this was looking like a runaway game for Zero Lightning as he found his comfort. But bell in hand here for Nidus. Trying to get something going with the bell? Yeah, try, trying to play to uh, Pac-Man's strengths here. Across the stage. Not going to be mashed out. Will this? No. No, no, no. Oh, the air that, was into, that was such scary. a smart power pellet. The patience is key. Four tilt's gonna kick on the top of the hydrant. Still gonna hit the tall Ridley. Oh yeah, this is the, the linger, the linger, the release. What is it? Is, that was so Going tight. That was inward. so nice. The timing was there. I didn't think. I don't think Lightning was ready for the the hesitation to last that long. What do you think? Do you think we'll see a side B off ledge? Oh my goodness! Really? The really? Extending through the hydrant. Wow. Or that must have been just enough damage to actually hit the fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Well, what a way to I'll end be it. honest with you, Script. I've I never didn't seen know that one. <laughs> I've never done that before, first and foremost. But I've never heard of Nidus leading into this tournament. But I can guarantee you, I will not forget Nidus after that. A hell of a way to keep himself alive. Shout out to shout out to bro, like the the patience and like the just the understanding of really really tough mashups that we've saw. We saw Pikachu and we saw Pac-Man going against that Ridley. Those are two tough.